Hello gang, it's Violet. And today I wanna to share with you a little bit about some crystals that I will be working with to kind of help soothe anxiety and a little bit of panic, get grounded when you're feeling a little disconnected, but you still need to focus, okay? We have regular life to do, so come on in. We're gonna get right into it. Look at this, this is a barite rose. It is a Native American spiritual warrior mineral. So it was believed that after the warriors passed on, that they shapeshifted and became these beautiful barite rose mineral formations. Now, the barite rose has a very soothing quality Oh, it comes, it has a sort of grounding Gaia energy. So it's soothing because it's, it's insightful and it gets us in sync with the Gaia flow as it resonates within us for our own warrior wisdom. So something really beautiful about that. And although it is intense and a bit heavy and maybe intimidating looking. It's a really solid beast here, but it has soothing energy. So I can just sit down and say, all right, I'm gonna channel in. I'm gonna put my feet flat on the floor. I have a wood floor, which helps me connect to the elements. It is a natural element. And I'll say, dear Barite Rose, Bless me with the spiritual warrior energy so that Earth Gaia may flow through me. Hey, calmly and efficiently. Mm. All right. And this is blue calcite. This is a nervine stone. So in the way that something like lemongrass or chamomile will calm you, Cava Cava is another one. This is a Nervine stone. It cools the hot emotions. It brings about mental emotional soothing and it gently breaks up mental and intellectual blockages. So if you're feeling like you're not communicating with yourself very much, Perhaps you need a little bit of shielding and protection so you can be clear and not, well, I guess not influenced so much by the energies of other people. Oh, hi, Daisy. Daisy, you coming over to say hi? Come on. <laughs> Daisy's here and she wants to say hi. Come on, Daisy. Come on, Daisy. Okay. Okay, Daisy's just gonna say hi. Daisy's also filled, hello love, with calming, sweet energy. Maybe she wants to hang out with that stone. Daisy's checking out the chrome diopside. So this stone is another calming stone that connects us with Mother Earth this beautiful chrome in there. Isn't that gorgeous? This is great stone for studying and for mental energy, for focus, because it balances the mental, the physical, and the emotional energies in our life. It's gonna align us with our divine plan. Yes, it is, Daisy. Yes, it is. So, um, <laughs> it cools our stuckness, it cools our stubbornness, and it points us in the way of how we can best achieve our commitments. This is divine. This is a divine energy. It helps heal from traumas. I put this stone out after my kitty got fixed. So, the chrome diopside He's a beautiful healer. Just like Daisy. Hi, Daisy. <laughs> Sweet girls. My girls love their crystal time. 
All right, now, these are not crystals, they're black walnuts. And I, I love the smell of them. Mmm, it's almost like a beautiful lemony, spicy kind of a mix. And I found that walnut is used in the Bach flower remedies as one of the remedies that is helpful for when we are going through transitions. Transitional nuts. Oh, excuse me. Ooh. So what I'll do <laughs> is I'll sit and I'll meditate with one in each hand. Oh, there goes the cat. I'll sit and meditate with one in each hand and I'll allow that to flow through me. So you saw I had three of the diopside. I may sit with one in my hand and hold like so, put one under each foot. I may hold one in each hand and put one in my lap. It really depends. Okay, here we have three different smoky quartz. Now, these two, one, two, have more iron in it, all right? This one you'll see is a rough chunk. These two have formed, they have points. So here we have a, it's a smoky, it's almost like a smoky citrine with some iron deposits and then here we have a classic pale smoky with iron deposits now these would both be considered hematoid quartz i'd call this one a hematoid smoky citrine a hematoid smoky and a classic smoky now i love the smoky quartz because they will align us from chakra crown to chakra root they help us with clarity and understanding. They bring us the flexibility to dispel our fear, to transmute the negativity, the depression, the, the scatterbrained sense that, that we can feel when we're really anxious. And it helps us prioritize. So what I'll do, same thing, I may put one in my bra, I don't know. I may hold one, meditate in each hand. It really depends. I have quite a few stones, so I've got a lot of options. But if you just have one smoky, that's all you need. And even if you don't have one, you can meditate on its effect. We can connect energetically through this fascinating computer, technological, internet level. Like, it's just fascinating. I found it to be just, I don't know, I'm impressed, right? I'm impressed by how energy transmits through video. I love it. Positive. So, remember, keeping that in mind, when you're not feeling great, or even when you are, don't watch a bunch of crap that's going to lower your vibration and then act surprised. If you're watching a bunch of movies about murder or some sort of a horrible negative theme and you're wondering why you feel like crap, well, maybe you need to cut out the crap so that you don't feel like crap. And that's just me. You know, I'm sensitive and I know my body, my mind, my heart and my soul well enough to know that that's not actually being strong. So keep yourself in alignment with what feels like you are aiming towards. You want to feel peace? Watch something peaceful. Even something humorous could be really, really sardonic and cynical and not helpful. So make sure that what you're paying attention to will be soothing you if that's what you're truly seeking. You will not be able to have a congruency of wanting to be calm while simultaneously having something that is subliminally upsetting, okay? You feel like crap? That's not the time to watch PETA videos, okay? So, in addition to a necklace 
of black tourmaline that I have on, a little tiny piece. I have these two I wanted to show you. And these are lovely quality, these beautiful striations. I love the love, love the black tourmaline. Now, this is one of my favorite grounding and protective stones. It allows us to stabilize our energy, release negative unwanted energy, and kind of put us in a protective mode from having some kind of psychic nasty mojo jojo come at us. So reach for Shoral. That's another name for black tourmaline. And it's affordable. There's a lot of it on the earth. And it's, it's a go-to, okay? It's a go-to. So I need to feel grounded. I need to feel like I am not getting in my own way. And I'm not going to let anyone else's energy get in my own way. So these are beautiful for meditating with as well. And the last but not least would be my bracelets. Left hand receptive. I have onyx on, okay? I have onyx here, which is a black banded chalcedony, all right? This also will offer us a, f a force field of protection. Excuse me, I'm fumbling with my words, but will connect us to our higher self, will allow us to go deep within our meditations and help us root our ideas. So when you're feeling anxious, you probably need to root your ideas, you know? And the last is howlite. These little howlite beads have skulls carved into them. This is a mala I made. And this is magnesite. Howlite is also known as magnesite. It will stimulate the root as well as the crown. It will allow us to harness the power we need to contact our higher self while we calm our nervousness and we strengthen into the root of the earth again. This is allowing us to wake up, wake up, be present, be present because the body, mind, and spirit have <sighs> found each other, united, allowing us to connect those chakras, right? The mind and the root, you're feeling anxious, it's mental, but it's also because you're not feeling safe, perhaps. So this satellite is wonderful for PTSD, trauma, and the kind of anxiety and depression that is brought about by those experiences. So the Howlite will help point us in the direction of positive possibilities and will allow us to kind of filter through as we're processing our past crud. Okay. So, if you have any of these, or you have some, perhaps you only have one, perhaps you have none, but you want to receive the healing. I'll take some photos and I'll put them at the end of the video and allow you to feel their energy as they may transmute right through to you. Because don't forget, this little pop tart of a phone that's glass and metal and crystalline, it's made of the same crap that we're made of. So it's gonna get through, okay? <sighs> Calming blessings. I hope you're well, taking care of yourself. Don't forget to drink lots of water and get sleep.